Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to model this uh, secret door bookcase. Okay, so let's start. So first, let's create a generic model. And if, of course, if you want to change it to casework or furniture, you can do it from through a family category and the parameters and change the category if you want to. Okay, so but today I'm just going to model it as a generic model. So first place some uh, reference plans and dimension equal dimension equal dimension and the dimension. So oh sorry dimension and this one this one will be the depth of this um, bookcase. So let's, oh sorry, create a parameter. So let's call it um, depth. And OK. So this one will be the width of the bookcase. And OK. So go to front view, reference plan, di. So this will be the height. And OK. So, and we will need some more reference plans because uh, we need the thickness of the, the panels. So for example, these two will be the side panel um, thickness, okay? And also this one will be the back panel. So I'll call it back thickness and okay. So now go to front view. And another two reference plan dimension di. So these two, uh, I'm just going to make them the same uh, parameter. I'll call it um, top, bottom thickness. And OK. So now let's go back to floor plan. So we are going to model some uh, panels. So extrusion rectangle. So first this side side panel. Go to front view, finish, drag this up, lock, drag it down, lock. Another one, floor plan, ex create extrusion rectangle here to here, lock. Go to front view, finish, drag it up, lock, and lock. So go to front floor plan again. So this time um, we're going to create the top panel. Okay, so extrusion again. So here to here and then lock, 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 lock. And go to front view, finish. Uh, did I say top panel? So let's drag it up, drag this up and lock. Um, now, let me have a look. Ah, overlapping. So maybe, maybe I'll stop the top panel in internal side of the side panels. So click on this top panel, edit, edit extrusion, select this one, unlock, drag this back to here in the lock. Same here, unlock, drag it back and lock and finish. Okay, so now we have this top panel. So now let's create another extrusion rectangle. This time start. Um, actually, uh, because when you just create a shape like this, I'm not sure if this this line is locked to the extrusion or the reference plan. So instead of just click on this lock, I'm going to manually so align them to the reference plan. So yeah, just yeah, make sure make sure when you constrain make when you align your uh, geometry onto something. So always uh, lock lock them onto reference plane, not onto another geometry because that will cause a lot of issue. Okay, so 
and go to front view finish so this time drag it down and lock and lock okay so now uh, let's have a look in 3D view uh, we still need a back panel so let's go back floor plan so you can do it in floor plan you can also do it in elevation okay so it's the same so let's go to floor plan maybe so create extrusion so rectangle again and then this same do it here and I'm going to use a uh, align just manually lock them okay so now go to 3d view again so let's uh, adjust the size so first height maybe 2100 pi width maybe 900 um, depth maybe 350 so thickness so uh, hang on something's not right here so look at here uh, let's have a look so go to front views I think I forgot to uh, adjust this one so drag this up to here and lock drag this up to here and lock all good go back to 3d view yep all good so now we can change the adjust the thickness side maybe um maybe maybe 30 and top bottom maybe 50 back thickness maybe um maybe 20 pi okay so that's that's it um and now we uh, we need to add some um shelves and if if you already decide how many you need uh, you can just do it here so you can add reference plan add some dimension and just create those extrusions create those um, shelves but today I'm going to make it a little bit more uh, parametric so uh, you can change you can adjust the size uh, sorry you can adjust the number of the shelves and also you can adjust the spacing okay so let's let's do it so create another generic model and in this um, going to create some reference plan as well and also dimension equal dimension equal dimension dimension so this will be the depth of this panel i just call it b this will be the w width and go to front view reference plan this will be the height of the panel i'll call it or maybe not high thickness okay so th and okay so go to from floor plan and just create this uh, extrusion rectangle here to here lock 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 go to from view finish it lock and lock so now go to 3d view let's adjust this uh saw the size of this shelf so for example um with uh, maybe uh, 1200 maybe uh, thickness maybe uh, 100 thickness uh, depth maybe 200 okay so yeah well good doesn't need to be uh, doesn't need to match the dimension here because we will link them anyway so let's go link the allow uh, this family into here and go to floor plan actually so and then create that component so i'm going to just place it uh, here okay and then al align the center reference plan to the center reference plan of this family and a lock and for uh vertically in this uh in this view vertically we need to align this reference plan and with this edge and the lock okay so now we are going to link the reference uh, sorry the parameters select this pa panel go to edit type so we have these three parameter i'm going to just associate to a new parameter in this family so create so the first one day i'll call it a panel panel depth 
Okay, so uh, OK and OK. So thickness, I'll call it uh, panel thickness. OK and OK. So width, I'll call it panel width and OK and OK and OK. So now let's have a look of the relationship between the parameters. So first, width. Overall width is from here to here, but the panel width will be the overall width minus two of the side thickness. So panel width equals overall width, which is width, minus bracket side thickness bracket. And apply, so uh, hang on, something's not right here. Oh, sorry, times two. Okay, so times to apply, yeah, see, matches. And then panel depth, panel depth, which is uh, from here to here, equals depth minus the back thickness. So, oh, hang on, panel depth, yeah, panel depth. So here equals depth minus um, back. Uh, thickness apply so you will see matches matches the, the so I'll, this one's panel so see ma match this uh, reference plane um, now let's go to front view for the thickness of this panel so I'm just going to type in type in we don't need to match anything so I'll just uh, uh, where it, here, I'll just type in a number, so for number 40. And also, I'm going to move this up, okay? And, uh, okay, so now we need to decide where the, the first of this, I mean, yeah, other than this, the, the bottom panel, okay? So, so I'll create, create this reference plan. And also I'll create another one here okay so this will be the very bottom one except this one where this one is so I'm going to um, align this to maybe the top of this panel okay and then I'll create a dimension here so because we um, I want to roughly decide um, maybe it's it, it's better to let's let's do it this way so i'll unlock this one i'll move this up and allow. excuse me okay so align this to this along so now i know that the spacing of this okay so this is the spacing here and I'll select this uh, um, panel and use AR array and make sure it's last. So drag this up. And also I like to offset a little bit and click, so finish. So this is a um, an array and then we can align. So the same, I'm going to uh, add another dimension here Okay, so I'll create, select these two dimension, and create a, I'll call it a spacing. Okay, and then I'll align this to the top of this uh, shelf. And also I'm going to align this center line to the center line of this panel. Okay, so, uh, and one more, one more because usually we will have three reference, three dimension. Uh, if I select this one, let me just move this down. See, this is the top panel, so we need we also need to align this top panel to this reference plan. Okay, so now it's all constrained. Now we need to just create this. Uh, select this array and then we can create a number 
parameter so maybe we can I'll just use type as well okay so now we can manually so see first I can decide what the spacing the top and the, the bottom spacing is so maybe um, 300 maybe 300 and then I can type in the number for the shelves so for example uh, I'm typing 5 yeah. and just uh, today I'm not going to create any formula so I just need we, we can we can we can always oh, exact same that's that's great um, yeah just you can manually so in your project you can always change for example change the number and check oh maybe that's too small I'll, I'll maybe change it to four or five and also uh, if you have different spacing so for example 400 for the top and bottom and you might um, uh, find that uh, the spacing is too small maybe I'll ch you can change it to four okay so a little bit manual but it's easier so you don't need to do all the formula so that's it so this is this is one of the uh, bookcase so I think that's it for today um, tomorrow we're going to make a uh, place two of this uh, this uh, bookcase into one family and make it uh, so you can open and close okay so thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow Bye.